Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about a wafer paper conditioner. You can make it at home. It's super easy. It has two ingredients. You might not have one of them, but you can go buy it. It's not that, not that hard. And I'm sure I'm not the first person to think this up because I know that the ingredients in some of the commercial, you know, wafer paper conditioners that you can buy are pretty similar, but it, I, this is the, the best stuff just to soften the paper, to make it more flexible, to make it softer, to keep it from cracking. I would not necessarily use this, well, I guess you could to make ruffles and that kind of thing. I have another video that I will link up in the cards that is for making ruffles and keeping it really flexible for a long time. But this works really well just to keep the paper softer and to keep it from cracking. So I'm going to take you over to the table over here and I'll tell you about it. And I also have a blog article on my blog that goes into it in more detail but it's super easy. So let I'll take you over there now. Okay, so basically all this is is glycerin and water. And I know that, you know, this is not a new recipe. I know that people have all kinds of complicated stuff. And like I said, I do have a more complex recipe that includes gelatin. But if you just put some glycerin and water in a spray bottle, you can use that for a conditioner and it's super easy and it works really well. So I went to a, a you know, a supermarket just to check it out. You can get these little spray bottles for about $2.25. That's how much it costs near me. Just take that and fill it about, maybe you want like one, I don't know, like one teaspoon of the glycerin. I did it about one to one. So like half glycerin, half water. And it might be a little more water than glycerin. And I think that if you change the formula a little bit, just based on how sticky you want it to be to begin with, it's going to make a difference. But I sprayed it, I took this paper just to experiment on, because this is a print that didn't work. And I feel like this, it is so dry right now. The air is so dry, everything is cracking. So look at this, it just cracks. Okay, you can't bend it at all, it tears immediately. But I sprayed this section here and look, it's even yesterday it's cracking a little bit but I can bend it like a lot further and this piece I actually took and sprayed really well on the back now you have to be careful not to spray the front but I sprayed the back and and if you go to my blog article and read it I'll take some more pictures to show you what happens with that but you just don't want to smear the ink but if you spray the back where it's not printed this is this was yesterday and look I'm twisting it like nothing and it's not breaking it's not cracking it's still really pliable and soft this is a really simple way to condition your wafer paper and I made a rose petal so what I did is I made the petal here by cutting you know like I took the shape cut the strip and then attached that together to give it the cups shape and then I sprayed the edges on the back and folded it over and it's kind of dried in that shape so you can use this to make flowers I'm going to be doing a whole series of flowers on my blog for wafer paper flowers, so keep an eye out for that. But this is an, a really, I mean, I did this yesterday and it still is a little sticky. Not really. It's dried now, but the glycerin absorbs into the wafer paper and keeps it soft. I don't know how long it stays soft like that. So I would plan on doing this maybe the same day that you need it and then form everything and leave it to dry. But this made it really easy. And look, it's not cracking. And this paper was so, everything is so dry here. The air is just, it's its dry. It's winter, it's dry. You can't fold it without it cracking. Look, I mean, I just barely pulled that and it tore. So water and glycerin, that's all you need. You don't need to spend a ton on this kind of stuff. And if you don't want to deal with it, you can buy it from me. I'm going to list some of these in my shop. But really, you can make this yourself for very inexpensive, um, a, a very low price. It's very inexpensive. It's not hard. So go on over to my blog, read the article. I have more details about it over there. The link is in the description. And you can also enter my weekly giveaway. I'm doing a weekly giveaway on my blog now. If you leave a comment and you're on my email list, you can win silicone molds. So sign up, participate in that. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later.